guys good morning good afternoon or good evening depending on what part of the earth or globe you guys are residing so today i wanted to create another insightful content for you guys so that you guys can learn to create and get that owner's manual of your mind so that you can all create and manifest a purposeful wonderful desireful life now guys you must remember that it is your birthright to deserve all the abundance you're seeing right now it is given unto you to do it okay always remember that the reason or some of the, the systematic blocks you may be experiencing is due to our own mind our own consciousness all right so always remember that and this is what you're learning to do you're learning to deprogram a system that you were taught or believed that was correct is how we were conditioned state of lack struggle etc and it all goes back just just how the Bible says it the Bible says everything you have you desire it's already yours if you know how to ask to receive okay and this is the concept and the key is you do it through your thoughts through your mind okay through your consciousness and this is what you're going to learn this is what you're going to put forth to attract and create your desirous uh, life so today i'm going to talk about time what is time the illusionary concept of time how it can prevent you or stop you from achieving moving towards your goals and I've been getting a lot a lot of emails about doing time mark can you make a video on time explain time or the concept of time and the concept of being in the present moment and the now and how it can relate to me creating and manifesting my desires this is what i'm going to do today so we're going to talk about time okay so time what is time time is basically i refer to time as energy moving from a moment to moment because in in concepts and everything we are all based on the energy vibration and millions of frequencies but let's talk about time as it relates to our concepts our observations how we see it how we interact with it and how it affects our consciousness particularly our conscious mind and our subconscious mind now time is a huge trickster because it can actually prevent you or stop you from achieving your desires to create to attract what you want time can do that it's very 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 it's a trickster I call it a trickster so what does it work so let's talk in layman terms so basically time is logical structures that your conscious mind uses it uses night day hour minute it uses for organizational to put things in order okay that's what your brain uses time as the conscious mind and the ego has derived a very attachment with time even though yeah, you know, this might come as a shock to many, but it's been revealed many, many years ago that time is just an illusion. There is only one concept of time, and it is right this moment. The moment, the moment. This is known as the ever-present moment. Past, future are all simultaneously happening, and they create a present moment. Here's the here's the first thing. The past, it's not something real, guys. It's a, it's a word you were developed to make up when you were young. Future same thing it's not something real happening it's something your mind has produced to make up you ingrain that in your brains and when you grow, when you get older you thought you think in past and future but in reality let's examine how the brain works so when it comes to a past the past basically is just information stored by a biochemical signals in the brain future same thing future is the same chemicals but are based on a survival mechanism on your ego because the ego is always looking forward or looking ahead to help to try to create what I call a reality loop. Always remember how it works. Two minds. One can create, the subconscious creates, the conscious will maintain that creation as a loop. That's why I call it a reality loop. So when I say you're in your ego mind, you're in a reality loop. Let's give you an example of how time works. And here's the best example I'm going to show with you. So to give you an illusion to show you how time is not real the way you see it, Everything is happening now. Let's go. I've done this in many videos, and I'll do it again because I really want you to get the concept. This will help you to create effortlessly to manifest and bring things into your reality. All right. So let's say it's a Tuesday night. I'm on a call with somebody in Australia. So on Tuesday night in the, in the United States, okay, it's, it's uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. So the moon is out. Australia, it's already another day, okay. I'm on the phone with that individual. Here's, here's what's happening. We're speaking right now. So I'm actually in his future. He's in my past. Here's what happened. Tuesday night, speaking to him, it's already Wednesday morning. So I'm speaking to him in his future Wednesday. Wednesday morning, to him, speaking to me, it's still Tuesday night. 
my past. See that? But we're speaking now. So what I'm showing you, everything comes together now. See the past, the future, all happen in the present moment. So let's just give you a, a small tip of how your brain can actually give you that illusion to make you believe that time is real because time is just relative to the observer. So how does your ego or the conscious mind use this time to stop you from manifesting or stop you from allowing your desires to come in? Well, it does it in a few ways and it does it because it, it makes you believe or think things are taking too long. Okay, and once you believe things are taking too long, you'll stop, you'll give up. So what do you give up mean? Well, basically you'll cut off your thought focus energy to create and bring it in. Therefore, you kind of stop your manifestation. So the key point to remember is that your subconscious mind, everything happens right now. So if it's not happening now, then you know it's an illusion. So if you're thinking about five years, two years, the worst that's gonna happen next year, next week, you wanna stop. You want to stop and bring yourself to the attention and say, wait a minute, are these things that I'm per per percepting, percepting, are they happening now? And what you'll find the answer is no, they're not happening now because right now is known as your point of power. This is where everything comes together. So this will keep you in a present moment centered. Here's the beauty of this. When you're in the present moment, then you can have the information from your higher self that will filter in to give you the intuitive nudges, the desires make the right phone call to get the right person to help you and then therefore you will create an abundant lifestyle so the key is to get out of that time concept when it comes to allowing your desires so anytime your ego will come in and says but wait a minute how is this gonna happen when is this gonna happen that's when you know you're in the illusionary time concept now you must stop again bring your mind into the present moment says wait a minute is this happening now of course it's not so this just keeps you in a present moment awareness. Therefore, you can start to create and an, an, an attract. See guys, the time concept has been ingrained in your brain. And because it's been ingrained in your brain and through evolution, our brains develop a pattern of recording time. But if we go into the reality of how things work in a quantum physics formation, as Albert Einstein uh, clearly uh, proved and put out in his theory of relativity, that time is in a four dimensional space so we have three dimensional and then we have time as a fourth dimensional space time so it shows us as time is all inclusive to the pre ever present now if you can practice and get this this concept in you will see how much better your life is you see how much better things can come in and create because here's what it does it eliminates you from a lot of stress anxiety and worry because your mind will constantly rave to put you in a future it'll start to worry about this bill to pay that I don't have. Why is it taking so long? What you put your thought energy, your focus energy to, or your attention to, it becomes your reality. But if the minute you take your mind away from it, then energy will dissipate and it will take care of itself. That's just how it works. Because remember I said before, the things that look real, the ingredients that make these things aren't real themselves because they're made from quantum energy particles. And anyway, these are things that are proven quantum physics. You know, we have the Heisenberg principle and we have the... Uh, uh, quantum calculation, quantum duality, all these put together to prove and show how, how the universe works. And your mind controls all these aspects, your subconscious mind, and especially particularly your superconscious mind, or your, the highest, highest part of the mind. So keep in mind, guys, so to create anything you desire, you must always go moment to moment. Keep yourself in the present moment. It's important because if you're in the present moment, you have all your point of power. And then you have all the guidance from your higher self, from God, the universe, your angels. They're all there to help you, to give you the information to take a productive and beautiful manifest in life. That's the beauty of this. But if you allow yourself to get caught up in what I call that reality loop, which is the ego, which puts you in a time loop, keeps you going around and around, makes you believe that the future is bleak or bad or the past happened, it's all in a present moment. Okay? So if you go moment to moment, you can defeat the illusion of time. Once you defeat the illusion of time, you'll get everything in and you'll see your desires manifested. So these are some tips that you guys can use that will definitely help you to create an abundant life. All right. And uh, thank you guys and happy manifesting.